Alrighty folks, this is Nysos, welcome back for another episode of Blood and Bones. It's nighttime and it's raining, so why am I recording? Well, if you look in the chat log, a meteor has just been detected, apparently many times, and I wasn't recording when it went off, so you guys don't get to hear the awesome sound this time, but I'm sure we'll get one in the future. A meteor just got shot down by our meteor guns, oh yeah, and I was going to say, there's probably a bunch of glowstone and gunpowder I guess yeah laying all over the place right now because well, that's just how it works alright so instead of a big meteor somewhere we now have chunks of meteor all over the place so there's a piece of something here's some stone up here there's a piece of lead right there looks like I saw somebody jump at me over here, so I have to be careful. Chunk of iron sitting right here. Oh, good. I need iron, actually. Yeah, you're... Oh. Ah! Go back inside. Go back inside. Okay. Oh, good. Morning's coming. Although it's still raining. Um, let's see. If I go over here... Yeah, I can probably get back in. Probably. Anyway. So, the meteor guns worked. Oh, I just saw Remora shot. Scary. Bad, bad, bad. Do not like Remoras. Alright, so the Meteor Gun totally worked. And, uh, yeah, boy, it lagged the world for a second there. Because it, it creates all those entities and drops them all over the place. So, uh, uh, it takes a minute. So, I have somebody breaking torches. Who's breaking torches and how are you breaking torches? So the meteors, I mean, they drop blocks here and there, right? So potentially they could drop blocks in places that would let stuff get over my wall. Or I don't think they'll break like plants and stuff. See, there's nothing out here in the farm on plants. What torches are getting broken? Oh, I hear a... I think a tarantula somewhere. Yeah, there's a tarantula right down here. Let's see if we can get rid of him. Come on up. Two of them. No. Alright, hopefully they're stuck behind that little barrier there. Boy, talk about free glowstone. Look at this everywhere around here. Okay, so let me go run around, catch some stuff, uh, pick up some glowstone and stuff here. I don't know what torches were getting broken. Now, I did just um, dig up this meteor over here and replace... Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I just dug up the meteor that fit. Ah, Ramabra, Ramabra, run, 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 run. Okay, running away fast. Yeah, those things, man, those are bad. They, they do that rapid fire thing, and then, why? Well, I don't know why I opened those for Ramabra. Uh, they do that rapid fire thing, and then they have the poison effect. So, even if you can avoid the um, purple magic stuff they shoot at you, uh, you're likely to die from the poison anyway. Wow. Okay. Anyway, what I was going to say is I just dug up this whole thing. Uh, remember there was a meteor there, so I just dug that up, replaced it with dirt, and there's actually a hole under it, and I put a couple torches down, so that's probably where the torches were getting broken. Alright, so, let me, um, well, you know what? I got a good good amount of uh, glowstone here, and it's raining and crummy out anyway, so let's go in and work on what I was actually just getting prepared to work on and record. So, in the uh, smeltery, I've put pig iron, which turns into steel. Again, not quite sure how iron turns into steel, but I guess it's pig iron, which is, you know, special. It's probably a thing I don't know. Any rate. Uh, so I'm getting some steel out of there. What I want to make, I'm getting ready to make some power. And there's a bunch of different options here. Some are disabled, some are impossible uh, at this point. So 
let's take a look. So the furnace generator, if I hit R on this, it tells you about it, but there's no crafting recipe. The lava generator. Okay, we can make that. Well, it takes a uh, sanguinite smelter, and we don't have any sanguinite. That's actually one of the top tier metals, and very, very rare. Okay, well, ender generator, that ain't going to work. Um, solar generator would be really cool, but it takes yeah, whatever that is, and that is from the end. So obviously we haven't been to the end. I don't have those materials. Can't do that yet. Anyway, so there's a bunch of generators. These are all from extra t utilities. There's also the, the dynamos from uh, thermal expansion. And some of these, let's see, steam dynamo works. Magmatic dynamo, again, takes sanguinite. So can't do that. Compression dynamo takes, well, we could do that, but these... Um, these take fuel, and these take both, um, like, coal, you know, a solid fuel, plus water. And as you know, water is not infinite in this one, so I was not going to do that. At any rate, uh, back to what I did want to try, is I'm just going to start out with this survival survivalist generator. And on these extra utilities ones, you'll first get the... Um, shaped crafting recipe and then if you hit the right button they've added a quote-unquote recipe for info which is really kind of cool anyway this is very very slow this is only going to output 5 RF per tick but it uh, is 20 times as efficient as a normal uh, like steam dynamo or whatever so instead of uh, well it's going to put out power very slowly but it's going to be very efficient at it. So I was just getting ready to work on this and it's going to take a steel furnace, it's going to take some more red alloy ingots, it's going to take uh, some more blocks of redstone, it was just getting the thickened glass. You know it's actually it's going to take quite a few things and I've got some stuff in my inventory. Let me clean up the inventory, let me get a few more things um, ready and get a few more things cooked up in the old smeltery here. And then I'll be back and we'll craft that guy up and place him down. So I'll be back in a minute. Hey folks, back for just a second here. It's uh, still the same day, still raining out here. Uh, and here comes an ant to kill me. No, don't kill me. Um, I had eight iron and I was hoping to find one more from this meteorite, or meteor that got shot down because then I can put nine in, and if I put nine in smell three, I'll get two blocks out. Uh, and I notice this. There's a endstone meteor here, and I can't dig endstone yet, so I need a better pick. And that's another thing on my list to get done today for another reason as well. So I don't know when that one came down, but there you go. Um, I'm half dead because I went outside to get that one piece of iron I saw at the house. There's one. And it fell in the water, so I jumped in the water, and there was a poison skeleton down there. Of course. Fortunately, I, I had some milk, and I was able to cure the poison, kill the skeleton, and get away. Barely. Okay, so that's the piece of iron I wanted. I just thought I'd show that end stone meteor is there. I don't see any end materials. Okay, you're not poison, but I don't really want to fight you right now. Um... Yeah, and some peridot ore, too. That's interesting. Didn't expect that in meteors, I guess, but sure, why not? So you can see this has just exploded and, and dropped uh, materials all over the place. And another tarantula. I already killed one of these. Now, their poison doesn't seem to be too bad. It's just poison one, I think, and only lasts about eight seconds or so. So obviously you're going to need some... Um, Oh, now it stops raining. Sure. Okay, anyway. Obviously you're going to need some armor and some uh, hearts, uh, gold hearts there, but uh, not worth wasting milk on, I don't think. And it is definitely time to make armor once again, which is another thing on my list. Okay, I didn't actually get very far on preparing, so let me prepare a few more things, and I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty, folks. Back, and I think I've got all the pieces I need to make this survivalist generator. So let's start with the recipe. We're going to need a steel furnace, a leadstone energy cell, 
some copper and some red alloy ingots. How do you make a steel furnace? You make it with an iron furnace and steel. How do you make an iron furnace? You make it with a bronze furnace and iron, bronze, copper, and regular. Okay, so many levels of upgrades. Take regular furnace, put the copper around the edge, make the mouse go the right place. Take the copper furnace, add bronze, take the bronze furnace, add almost your last eight pieces of iron. I've got three more after this. And add steel around that, and you get a steel furnace. Uh, I've also had this iron furnace I've been using to just cook things manually, so I'm going to upgrade that to steel as well, because I've got a fair amount of steel now. Alright, so what's next on the list? Uh, I already made the red alloy ingots. We've done that before. It's just redstone and iron. That's just redstone and iron, although there are other options as well. Uh, so let's make the leadstone energy cell. And I've already cooked up the... Oh, I didn't get lead. I should have some lead. Yes. I've got a little, just enough lead to make said thingy. Okay, so I made this, I made thickened glass, I made lead, this should, bam, let's do an energy cell frame, nice. Oh, and that's just a frame. Okay, to make an actual leadstone energy cell, you have to then add agmalin and redstone conductance coil. Okay, so I'm going to want to get to this before too much longer, but uh, not right now. So, I think... That may be all the pieces. Yes. All right. So first generator. Not exactly the most powerful thing in the world, but it will get us some power. And I'm making it now because it's, say it with me, guys, slow. All right. So um, I did check, and you can pick this guy up, and it will retain its charge. So it doesn't really matter where I put it. Um, Maybe, maybe I'll start a little Tinker's Construct stuff or uh, thermal expansion stuff going on in this corner. So let me just drop it right here. I don't know if that's the final place or not. But basically, this guy doesn't take any coolant, so you don't need water. You can put any normal thing in it, and if I just put a stick in there, you can see that that's going to last for uh, over a minute and a half. Now. This thing only does 5 RF per tick, which is a teeny, teeny, tiny amount. Um, so it's going to take a really long time to fill up. But you can see it's got an internal buffer of 500,000 RF. So that's, that's uh, how much is that? That's like a hardened energy cell? Uh, let's look at that. The leadstone one is 400,000. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger than a leadstone one. The hardened is 2 million, yeah, because they're multiples of 5, I think it is. All right, so this is this has got a really big internal buffer, so I don't really need a energy cell yet if I get this all filled up. And that's why I did this early, so I can just sit here and let this thing fill up uh, for quite some time while I'm not messing with it. All right, so I'm going to throw some coal in and come back to that in just a second. And you're going to see... You know, normally if you put coal in an oven or uh, a dynamo, if you've messed with those before, you know, they, they do, what, 8 to 10 items. It takes it, I don't even know what the time is, uh, 30 seconds, a minute maybe? Well, this, again, is 20 times more efficient. Uh, so it's going to be slow at 5 RF per tick, but instead of a minute or so, this is going to take, or one coal is going to burn for 26 minutes and 40 seconds. So yeah, 20 times as efficient. I guess roughly a minute is what you would normally got, get out of a piece of coal. So this is going to take a long time. But eventually it's going to fill up this buffer and then we'll have 500,000 RF available to mess with. Okay, so... Again, my armor is in bad shape yet again. And I'm, I'm almost wondering if they've jacked up the, uh, the, the damage that happens on the armor, because it seems to break really fast. At any rate, I was looking at what to make armor out of, and like I said, in the nether I found this adamantium, and I thought, I'm going gonna, 
I'm going to use it because, you know, it's part of the pack. It's in the nether. It, it's doing its thing. And then I realized this only has a mining level of Ardite. And Adamantium is one of the top tier things. So once I, I, I can get this nether ore, but once I convert it to Adamantine, I have to either pulverize it, I think, or put it on the ground. And if I put it on the ground and try to break it, I can't break it with this pickaxe. <laughs> so that's kind of an interesting little thing. At any rate, what I wanted to do is I need to get more iron. And I wanted to make a better pickaxe. And I really kind of want to make an Ardite pickaxe. Uh, if you guys saw my Magic Farm one with the Ardite Hammer of Power, you can do a similar thing with the Ardite pickaxe. It's not quite as powerful, but it's still pretty good. Um, so, I think I'm going to go off camera and do a little more mining in the, in the nether, see if I can't find... Hello, Fire Creeper. Uh, see if I can't find at least one piece of Ardite, which I have not yet. And uh, then we'll come back and make some tools and do some more cool stuff. So, I'll be back in a few. Hey folks, just thought I'd break in here for a minute. I've got a behemoth sort of cornered here. Or maybe he's got me cornered, I'm not sure which. Um, yeah, I'm out digging around in the nether and found this guy. And, man, he is bad looking. He is evil. He shoots those green green fireballs that put that green fire down on the ground. And, uh, yeah, it burns a lot. I think I saw that these guys are three tall. So if you can use a two tall... Oh, skull. Oh, dear. And that just exploded a bunch of stuff. Setting me on fire. I'm hoping... Okay. Okay. Hey, stop that. Why am I burning so much? Well, it's the, the green burn, but I guess the um, by the explosion from that guy took off my absorption hearts, and then the fire burnt me down a bunch. That must be it. Yep. <sighs> okay, so back in here. Oh, it's another, another redstone all right there. Um, you know what? I'm going to do the, the carrot juice because I'm not that hungry and I need a few hearts here. So let's get a couple of hearts back. And these are unfulfilling, so that's uh, not going to fill me up much. I'll be able to eat again later. Oh yeah, I did make a quick silver helmet. I, had, I needed a helmet. I'm totally out of iron. And that's what I had available, so I went ahead and did it. Alright, he's way over there now. I should be able to easily just snipe him off. Cool. Now, let's get in here and see what we got. This is the other side of the glowstone that uh, I went through a couple of episodes. A couple episodes ago? Whatever. How many, however many episodes ago it was. Okay, let's be sure there isn't another one. Yeah, I think it was just that the one guy there. And I thought I had him in a pretty good spot, so I thought I'd go ahead and record that. So that looks pretty good, except that he doesn't appear to have dropped, well, anything, I guess. Oh, here we go. He dropped Hellfire Charges. Gassed. Fired from a dispenser or as a hellfire blast. Okay, cool. Not really sure what that does, but I'll find out. Seems like a good idea to know. Okay, so the other thing was I was just going to show, uh, I think Batch was doing this in his series. Seems like a darn good idea. Just pop a fire every once in a while instead of burning torches here in the nether because nether rack will burn forever. And. <sighs> You know, I honestly don't even know if lighting like that keeps mobs from spawning, but it sure doesn't hurt, so. Alright, got some nether sulfur, some redstone, ah, good, more pig iron, silver, coal, some quartz over there, oh, and I didn't get much else, I got sulfur, oh, I did get a couple of adamantium, and three ardite, which is exactly what I was coming down here for, although I only needed actually one. Um, 
yeah, so that's that's good for now. I'm going to dig out all these ores and then probably head back shortly after that because it's, it's scary and dangerous here in the nether and I got the Ardite that I was looking for. Just thought I'd record fighting that behemoth because he was pretty cool looking. And that's it for now. Be back at base in a minute. All right, folks. Made it back out of the nether, back to the base, and getting ready to make up that Ard Ardite pickaxe. Yeah, as you can see from my little bit of recording earlier, uh, man, the nether is just not messing around. Even that one behemoth, I thought he had, I had him pretty well uh, uh, cornered, and then out of nowhere the flaming skull comes in and explodes, and uh, I'll tell you what, when I got back to the portal, Something had exploded there. I have no idea what, but uh, my little little area that I had kind of made out of uh, cobblestone or whatever it was, stone brick. Yeah, half of it was like, well, not half. Uh, a quarter of it was just gone. I'm, the portal was exposed, and then there was a place to fall out through to the lava, and I was like, wow, okay. So fortunately, whatever had exploded there was gone and uh, didn't have to deal with it. At any rate, I did cook up one piece of those piece of that ardite. I'm going to get a cast. I'm sorry, a cast, a tool rod, tool binding, a tool rod, and each of these take a half, and a new pickaxe head, and that's going to take a full one. So that's going to take one piece of ardite ore to put this guy together. Now, some folks may be like, well, some folks may know what the deal is, but some people might be like, well, I'm looking at the sheet and Ardite doesn't look all that good because you have to take into account not only the base speed, but the fact that this has stone bound. And in fact, each of these has stone bound two on them and they stack. So if we take a look at this and we see the mining speed is only eight. I mean, my, the mining speed on this guy is already 6, right? No no big change there. But by doing this with all three pieces Ardite, and each one having Stonebound 2, uh, which you can... There. If you hold Shift, now with the new tooltips, you get to see the max Stonebound bonus on this is 11.48. So the more broken it is, the faster it's going to mine. And if we get it in it... And you get a pretty big bonus right off the bat. Uh, so I don't need it completely broken. I mean, you do to get the, the maximum bonus. But we're going to get a good, you know, 8 to 10 bonus when it's like maybe half broke, half dead. So at any rate, this is going to give us a Ardite pick. And now this guy can level Ardite, but that's because he can level, can mine Ardite because he's already got boost XP on him. Does it show that? I don't see that. Uh, this one's going to start out at Ardite, and then once I get that boost XP there, 0 to 81, uh, once I get that guy up to uh, boosted, then this guy will be able to actually mine um, Cobalt. So just to demonstrate real quickly here, and it's going to take a lot more than this, but just as a super quick demo, if I take a look at this, the current speed is 8, and there's no bonus, right? So let's just break these. Yeah, not very fast. And my Damascus Steel one is not very fast either. It's been driving me nuts. So I wanted to get a faster pick. And this is going to help, actually. Right there, I think I even noticed it starting to speed up a little bit. So just from doing that, I now have a 0.56 speed bonus. So now I'm up at 8.5 instead of just base on 8. Um, and of course, you know, that's going to keep going. I also got 11 XP out of that, right? So I'll get to my boost XP, which now wants 500 instead of whatever it said, 200 something before. But uh, but that's fine. We'll get that. So I wanted to get this done first. Next, I need more iron, and then I need diamonds. And I've been messing around, looking at some of the configs, and checking out some stuff uh uh, online and it looks like diamonds in this pack at least right now are going to be really low like bedrock level up to maybe 12 or so and normally you know if you're going to mine for diamonds and vanilla you go down to 12 and you stand on level 12 
and then mine at that level. And you can find stuff at 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, in this pack, I think 12 is the top level that you might find them, pretty much. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to go down really low, and that's going to mean mining down there with the red gas and some green gas, but more red gas, I think. Uh, and even if you get down into the bedrock where it's exposed, that generates void gas, which is nasty stuff, too. So I think next episode I'm going to start working on um, some of the Glenn's gases stuff and some of the lanterns and some ideas on how to mine a little more safely down at that level because uh, going down there with torches is going to be a bad deal uh, right off the bat. At any rate, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I will go gather some more iron and probably get this guy a level or two, get some boost XP on him. Oh, actually, two quick things. One thing, uh, somebody mentioned in a comment, and I think I did this wrong in one of the videos, but I think I showed it later. If not, I will show again. Uh, wood nurse are in place in 107 or 106, so you only get two planks per, but then if you use a saw, now you get your four planks per. So make sure you use your... Uh, your micro block saw. And the second thing that I totally forgot is I just want to check this guy out. So he's been running for quite a while. He's got 200,000 RF and tons, I, I have not added any coal to this so plenty of coal left. I mean another 20 minutes on this piece of coal. So it's going to take a long time and once we start using it it's definitely not going to keep up but I think since I'm doing that early that's going to be a good place to start. Uh, getting a pulverizer, a redstone furnace, and some other stuff going. All right, folks, that is definitely it for now. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you next time. Catch you later.